right, I'm getting set up here real quick. Kelby's already got his truck going, so he's going to go ahead and run while I get mine ready. He's running the granite, which he already flipped over. He's going to go grab it. And I'm getting my uh, stampede uh, set up here to run. Now, by the time you guys see this video, you have already seen most of these running on the beach up in Michigan while we were on vacation. Now, the stampede, I actually got the night before we left at like 10 o'clock at night. So when we headed to Michigan, I had no bugs worked out of it yet or anything. I did buy it used, so I had to figure out if we had any issues. While we were in Michigan, I lost the wheel nut. And uh, we only could run them one at a time. So now that we're back home and I got uh, wheel nuts on both of them, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna play with them together. Now yesterday, Kelby and I ran both of these off camera. And I told him I thought it was kind of funny because back in the day I had a stampede in the early 2000s. And then uh, Arma's like the new kid on the block, so I think it's funny. He likes playing with the Arma, which is new, and he's the younger one. And I'm playing with a Stampede that's kind of old school, like me. Dad, yours is old like you. Yes, mine's old like me. Plus, he likes the Arma because it has a brushless motor in it. And, of course, that makes it quicker. Oop, my wheelie bar's flapping now. How can they fall? That's all right. My Stampede has still got the original Titan 12 turn motor in it. And what I'm running is, is I kept one of the batteries from the Mini E Revo. I got the little uh, 2S LiPo in it right now. That's a 2200 milliamp. So of course that setup's gonna be a lot slower than what he's running. He's over there ripping donuts. But this is originally what I wanted two RC trucks for. Ooh, I made it over. And so him and I can rip around together. When I had that mini E-Revo, that thing kept breaking, driving me nuts. And we can never play with these together. Okay, we're gonna take a pause because we both flip. We'll be All right, we're back. But pretty much, <laughs> Kobe flips this over again. But pretty much this is what we wanted. This video is just us having fun this is what we wanted two rc trucks for well, so both of us can come out here run together and have fun so today we're just bringing you along with having fun coming with good stuff though when you break them yep yeah they break sometimes but these two should be really good at not breaking a lot as in just plugging the stuff in we're still having a little bit of issues with the front shocks on the granite it keeps popping the shock caps off. I tried those aluminum ones. They pop off too, so that didn't work. You're so, about my yeah, I'm talking about your granite. So the way we're running the granite front shocks right now, we're just running it with no fluid in them because I got tired of losing fluid. So we just got the shock caps threaded on, and that's all we're running with it with no fluid. Ooh, we almost crashed. I'm going to try to hit your ramp on the way back over here. You can't do a flip though. Mine don't do the ramp on that side very well. It does this one pretty good. He's all into trying to do a twist when uh, he flips over. He actually did one yesterday off camera. Now we got a piece of farm equipment going by. A little tractor. Dang it, lock the dog bone. Locks the dog bone. Okay, we're going to stop here real quick and look for the dog bone. All right, I got to thread it back on. If you guys know a good aluminum threaded shock, leave uh, down in the comments below what you guys run. Because I think that's what I want to put on there is some aluminum uh, threaded shocks. And I think maybe that'll help it out. Because as you can tell, he really bashes that thing. He loves jumping it. And I want something that's a little bit more reliable on there for jumping. Did it break off again? I got it. Okay, he's gonna fix this one. So I'm gonna keep running here while he's fixing it. 
What I think I might do is I think I might buy the stuff to make another ramp like the one he's using here. So we can like race in a circle. I think that would be cool. Of course, if I'm going in this direction, we could do that. Mine don't have enough power though to get over this one that good. So we just keep running it over. I just keep jumping it off of this one. But so far, I'm really liking this Stampede. It reminds me of my old one. Of course, the one thing is the electronics are way better on this one than the one I had back in the early 2000s. But this thing seems to be just as strong as before. I already know that the, uh, I want to call it the steering knuckle. I know that ain't the correct term for it. I know they break on here, but once they break, I'll upgrade them to RPMs or whatnot. Kelby's having problems with shocks. We'll be right back. All right, we're back again. And he flips his over right away. He's having no luck today with his jumping. Usually he does good. But like I was saying, I'm pretty happy with the stampede again. I know it's the uh, steering caster blocks. That's what I was thinking of. I know there's issues with those. Once they break, I'll order some up. I'll get some RPMs or some better ones. What was that, Kelby? Hooray! It's not broken! <laughs> the shock didn't break. He gets about two or three jumps and those shock caps popped off. I was so hoping those uh, atomic aluminum ones, well, now he did it. I was so disappointed that those aluminum ones didn't work. So, we're just going to sit here and... Uh, he broke the shock again running into that. Be right back. Sorry about that, that we gotta keep stopping because of those. But that's part of it when you got shocks that don't want to cooperate when you jump. Like I said, he gets about two, three jumps in and then he's gotta switch them, but that time he ran into the wood over there. Hopefully sooner or later we get our barn done so we can get that wood out of the way. <laughs> that was cool. Hopefully you can get doing some of your cool flips with that one. I'm gonna try to make this. Sooner or later I am gonna make this stampede. <laughs> He's having no luck. Sooner or later I am gonna try to make this stampede brushless though. Cause it's so much funner when you got all that power to do stuff. I can just barely jump over to the small ramp. The one Kelby's using, it's a uh, 45 degree angle this one's only 30 but you can tell <laughs> i don't think you're going to get your uh twist in oh now he lost the wheel <laughs> okay we're going to stop here i think we're going to end the video here since we kept having problems with the granite we're just going to have fun with him and i running the rest of this out thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next one